Hello and welcome, I'm Paterno Resmakel and this is your Noong Time Wrap. Senator Grace Poe faces four disqualification cases before the Commission on Elections, but she says she doesn't lose sleep over any of them. Poe says, quote, as they say, clean conscience sleeps in thunder. She adds she loses sleep because of work, but admits the cases affect her children. Earlier, a Comelec division canceled her candidacy for president over residency issues. But Poe receives good news. The Senate Electoral Tribunal upholds its ruling she's a natural-born Filipino citizen. Citizen. This junks petitioner Rezalito David's appeal to disqualify her as senator for allegedly not being a natural-born Filipino. In the other camp, administration standard bearer Maroja says Po kept the citizenship issue from them when they were inviting her to be Rojas's running mate. He adds, quote, We presumed regularity and we were sincere in inviting her to be part of Daang Matuwid. The National Bureau of Investigation arrests the alleged mastermind in the murder of international racing champ Enzo Pastor Thursday. Authorities say Sandy de Guzman had a 1 million peso bounty and has been using different aliases to evade arrest. The NBI nabbed de Guzman in Dasmariñas, Cavite after a lead from a tipster. Earlier, a regional court ordered the arrest of Pastor's wife Dahlia for allegedly conspiring with de Guzman to kill Enzo. Enzo was killed in June 2014 while on his way to a competition in Pampanga. The estranged sister of Iglesia Ni Cristo leader Eduardo Manalo questions the church's ownership of a Tandang Sora property. Loti Manalo Jimenez claims she and her husband own the land title of 36 Tandang Sora and not the INC. A deed of sale was supposedly drawn up in April this year, transferring the property to the church. But expelled Minister Isaiah Samson says this could not have been signed by Lottie's husband who died in 2013. INC lawyer Serafin Cuevas insists the Tandang Sora compound is the church's property and says the church will answer the allegations at the proper time. And that's the noon time wrap. I'm Paterno Esmakel. Join us again at 6 p.m. for today's top news.